but don't mind you videotaping just me being safe distance. Walk in the road. You, I, you need to keep your mouth shut and do your job. This doesn't bother me. What's your name and badge number? Welcome back to the Audit the Law channel. On this channel, we review police interactions and go over audits that test the freedom of press in government buildings. Today's video is from the channel Foulmouth Veteran. This video takes place in Belton, Texas, and it involves the Belton Police Department. On April 8, 2021, this man was driving around enjoying his night. He sees a few Belton police officers that had pulled over a vehicle and were conducting a traffic stop. He decides to get out and record the traffic stop, but he is met with disdain and disrespect. But I'll play the video and see what you all think. What's up, everybody? Found out veteran back in Belton, Texas. Hey, you got 10 feet. You got 10 feet. Just do your job. I ain't your boyfriend. Hey, Wimbish, we ain't affecting with her duties, dude. We know what we're doing. We saw you on the other stop last time, and you know what we're doing. So you let us do our, you let us do our thing. All right, you don't tell me how to public. I won't tell you how to police. All right, I got ten feet. Hey, you're blocking the road. You, hey, you need to keep your mouth shut and do your job. You need to keep your mouth shut, little girl, and do your job. You're talking to the wrong people, lady. You think you're going to boss us around? See, we're professional until you open your mouth and act rude. No, it's fine, y'all. Like, put your hands on people, think you're all tough and stuff. Ain't nobody here to hurt you. We're just filming the truth. Wimbish. If she'd, have, if she'd have talked right, man, there would have been a different story. Y'all guys are held to a different standard. She needs to uphold that standard and act professional. But as soon as she starts giving unlawful directives and stuff, I don't play that, man. I didn't bother you guys last time, and we expect the same respect. So she, she should have just kept her mouth shut and did her job. That's all there is to it. Okay, well, we're just watching. We're just watching. We're just watching, man. You know we're not... We're not interfering. My, fir my First Amendment right is not interference. 3815 has to be an actual impediment. I'm not stopping her from doing her job physically. I'm not in between her and her job. Okay? Let's be realistic, man. Let's not let's not do that. All right, we're not here to harm nobody. We're here to do our job, just like you're here to do your job. But she's not going to speak to people that way. Let me ask you something: If a manager at McDonald's or Whataburger spoke to you in that manner, would you say something to him? I didn't hear the manager she was speaking. It doesn't matter if they were speaking disrespectful. And giving you unlawful directions or giving you directives, you would want to hold them accountable, right? I didn't hear the way she was speaking. Okay, you didn't, but we did. Watch the footage. Watch the footage. Come on, Wimbish. You know what the deal is, man. You know what the deal is, bro. Come on. You will know we're not here to cause problems. You know we're here just to film, and that's it. But we don't need unlawful directives. If she's scared, she needs to find another job. Why'd you block the road like that, though, bro? I got a lock dude. I'm not getting in there. Come on, Wimbish. You know better than that, dude. Come on. You got that field training officer on your sleeve, dude. Act a little professional. I know you got better You got better morals than that, man. Wait, come on. You, you, keep safe you know the deal, dude. I'm, I'm, there your traffic stops up there, bud. And she's, in, she's, in a, she's doing the traffic stop, not you. You're Overwatch. Huh? It's okay. I got I got good footage. Are you the watch commander tonight? Are you the watch commander tonight? I'm not supervisor on duty. Not supervisor on duty? Who's supervisor on duty tonight? Hawkins. Hawk okay. Hawkins. Okay, just a few things I want to point out here. Have you noticed how the supervisor and the auditor seem to have respect between each other? That's because he knows that these auditors are well within their rights to record these police in the course of their duty. 
I'm not sure what it is with these young officers who have this ego that makes them believe what they say is the law. The supervisor had to tell his subordinate to do her job and not focus on the cameras. And in my opinion, this is something that should be taught at the academy. We see it all the time how officers are not sure how to react or approach the camera. Most times they try to give unlawful directives, or worse, they try to arrest the cop watchers. Regardless, this seems to be a pretty decent interaction. Let's keep watching and see how things play out. So do you know why she pulled him over? Improper tie down or something? It looks like he's got some stuff laying around. Maybe the tail light's not working on the trailer? Come on, women's just that not the information that you need to know that's between her and the driver you need. Come on, man. What's this officer's name? She'll let you know when she's done. You can't verbalize it for her? She'll let you know when she's done. Okay, what's your name and badge number? Officer Winters. What's your badge number? 47. Thanks, bro. gonna use discretion right I mean he's not he's not like a pedophile or anything the thing is is man if, if you guys are getting incentives to write more tickets like more money on your paycheck and things of that sort I mean there's really no incentive to do the right thing man people make mistakes we're only human if you made a mistake, you would want somebody to use discretion on you, right? And not take money from your family. Maybe that person's got kids to feed. Maybe that's the only thing they have this month to last them the whole month is that two, $300 ticket. Wimbish, it's not, it's not you versus us, man. It's not you versus we the people, dude. It's not like that. I'm not saying that you carry yourself in that manner, but just think about that, bro. We're not your enemy. We're, we're not your enemy. There are people out there that act, are, you know, that are obviously shitbags, but not everybody's a criminal, dude. Honestly, you know what I mean? So I would hope that, you know, not everybody warrants that kind of behavior, but she can't be scared to do her job, dude. She swore an oath. She rose the right. She volunteered for this job, just like when I volunteered to do my duty. She can't act in that manner, man. We're not. She's not in Iraq. She's not in Afghanistan, dude. If she's scared of the job that much, then she needs to go work in the private sector or find another job. But honestly, man, I really hope she cut this guy a break because it looks like he's moving to a new house. Got a brand new truck right there. I'm curious to know what she pulled him over for. You have any other questions? Is she done with her? Are you done with your traffic stop? This doesn't involve you. What's your name and badge number? Hey, correct her, man. What's your name and badge number? Hey, officer, I asked you a question. What's your name and badge number? Thank you. You act like, a, do you act that way all the time? If you have any comments or complaints, you can call police department phone numbers right there. What's your name and badge name number? Verbalize badge it. Number. Adkins, badge number 65. So Thank you. That's the right okay. thing to do. Thank you for correcting her, Wimbish. Jesus Christ, man. What the hell's wrong with this lady? That's a piss poor attitude that lady has, man. Just absolutely trash behavior by this little tyrant. She thinks she doesn't have to identify, and rather than tell her beforehand, the supervisor lets her act like a fool. When he finally does correct her, she meets the auditors with attitude and disrespect. I want to touch on what Foulmouth Veteran says. We're not at war with each other. There needs to be mutual respect between officers and people that hold the camera. 
The disrespect from officers is never warranted in most cases. It baffles me as to why they hate the camera so much. Maybe it's because they're afraid they might be exposed for their true nature. That is, to expose the public and to harass the common man. Huge shout out to Foulmouth Veteran for this awesome video. Be sure you head on over to his channel, subscribe, and I'll see you all over in his comments. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching.